What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Stationeers. Might have noticed a few things have changed just a little bit. I might have been having a little bit of fun, got a little carry away. Um, so this episode is going to be a little bit different, at least from the very beginning, because there's a couple of things I want to go over. One of which I'm going to end up using previous saves kind of thing to go back and show you kind of the stages of how I did a couple of things. Um, and, and stuff like that. So I have a filtration system going, and it's pressurized for the most part. We're at a 47 kPa. As you can see, I finally got to take my suit off. I was very proud of myself. Um, it's not like I looked up tutorials on how to do it or anything. <clears throat> um, grant you, I, I mainly looked up because uh, while the game does have the tablet thing that lets you... Oh, that's what I meant to paint. Um, it does let you look up items. It doesn't really explain limitations or how items actually work. And so for that, I had to kind of refer to the wiki and stuff to kind of get an idea or YouTube tutorials and things like that to, to get an idea of how different things worked. So before I jump in and go through my different stages of the, I had a couple of multiple saves as I was going through the building process of developing this uh, vent system thing to pressurize and purify the air. Um, I wanted to go over a, a one thing, and that's I've had a couple of games come across my radar that have tempted me to do Let's Plays on them, but at the moment I've got enough going on in the background of things. I'm still working on my book. I've been doing a couple uh, web development things, stuff like that. I've got some other stuff going on to where I don't want to fill up my plate anymore. So, the question is, Subnautica actually went into full release, and that intrigued me, it piqued my interest, and there's also a new game coming out from, I don't know if it's just being published by Chucklefish, or if it's by the actual developers of Starbound from Chucklefish, I'm not really sure, uh, but there's a game called Stack Souls, I think, that um, I noticed, it came across my my radar, but I also received a couple of comments about them, like, hey, are you are you thinking of doing something like this? And so with that in mind, I wanted to throw this out there really quick. I'm not going to do too much on it, and I'll probably mention this in all of my other series this week, for the most part, and get kind of a lay of the land of how everybody, where, what everybody's thinking. But um, basically, do we want to keep doing Stationeers? Because I personally am having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, but the the views and stuff have been good as far as it's been worth doing But if there's a lot more interest in Subnautica, I know um, The last time I did it a lot of people expressed a lot of excitement for the fact that it was coming back on the channel and stuff so um, If you guys want to see another Subnautica playthrough now that it's in full release I'm curious about that it, or also if you've seen trailers and stuff for Staxels and it looks like something that's intriguing or you'd like to see a let's play on the channel do let me know what you prefer because in all honesty I'm probably only going to be doing one of them I'm either going to keep doing station engineers or I'm going to switch it and do one of the other two um, my only other option would be to switch out the space engineers let's play for one of those but I highly doubt that's going to be something everyone's really excited about, but if so, that might happen as well. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Now, um, as this stands, this is kind of my own way of doing things. I took kind of bits and pieces from different tutorials on how to do event system and kind of did my own. So it's probably not the most efficient, probably doesn't work the best, but it does work. Um, so what actually I can show you real quick here without actually even switching uh, files is so this is the inner side here i put this uh wall here because i actually had to take this frame out at one point and i read online if you have a a wall in front of the frame it won't actually depressurize so that's what i was doing and i have my little space heater on at the moment to um warm everything up because it's kind of cold in here it's a little chilly uh but so I don't actually have the system on at the moment, so you'll probably notice there's still some carbon dioxide and some pollutant in here, but the hydrogen or the nitrogen and the oxygen, I somehow managed to get a really good blend. Um, all I really did, I did keep my oxygen tank here without using it. And I did that because my air tank was actually kind of low and I wasn't sure when I'd actually get this filtering set up to do pure air or pure oxygen. 
Um, so all I did was I went out and mined a bunch of like volatiles, oxites, and ice and melted that down instead and then let the filter system do its thing. So we have a pretty good blend. We don't have a lot of pressure with that blend, but we have a pretty good blend. Um, so this is a pressure regulator. It's flipped around because of the power situation. I didn't want to have to run cabling through a wall and back around just to get to the valve, and I wasn't planning on changing it ever again. And I believe it's set to 10,000 kPa because I read the max pressure for a canister is like 1050 or something. Whatever it is, the pressure regulator, when you actually max it out, that's what it ends up being, if you didn't know that. So this, uh, or yeah, I set it for 10,000, I think. Up. Oh. We're out of battery. Um, and I actually have a pretty good power situation going on. I'll show that in a minute. I added a third solar panel and a full uh, station sized battery, not one of these little batteries. Um, so yes, this, this is supposed to make sure that we don't get any more pressure in here and the tank blows up because that was one thing that happened while I was building this. Um, for those of you that are already familiar, the short version is this is an intake vent and an outtake vent, which are currently not on at the moment. Um, and it goes to two different filters, one set to oxygen, one set to nitrogen, and the output of that mix comes out here. And then the waste, and basically anything else, goes into this pipe system, which goes into here, which makes good jetpack propellant because I found out it'll use pretty much anything as a propellant. So it dumps everything else into here, and then when this is full, I open this valve and it leads to a passive vent on the outside of my va on uh, my base, and it, it goes through there. So there's that. Um, and actually, we can go out, and I can show you the outside. I will probably cut at some point and show the other... Um, show the other part of the base just uh, in a different save before I had the... Actually, let me give me that back. I didn't realize. You can turn this on and off. So if you want your suit powered, um, it doesn't work when you're just pressing it in your hand, but if you actually equip your suit, um, it will. So with that, let's actually go outside. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I think I did in the last low. episode that we... Oxygen oh. low. Pressure nope. critical. I... Ugh. Oxygen critical. Whew. Low I pressure. totally forgot Oxygen about... Low. Yeah, I got you. Totally forgot about putting my helmet back on. Woo, that was bad. Um, so yeah, this is the setup out here. Oh, good grief. You have no idea how many times build... Actually, now that... Ooh, I didn't ever... I never put a vent on that. Oops. That's bad. Um, and I do have a furnace out there in case you eagle-eyed viewers actually spotted it. Um... So yeah, I totally forgot that I needed to actually close my helmet. Whoops. Um, but I don't know if I explained it in the last episode or not. I'm pretty sure that I did. Um, but we swapped out the canister situation with a passive vent um, on the inside here so that we can actually pressurize this room. Uh, because while we only get 47 out here, we get like way more than a, we could get way more than 100 in that small room. So we should be able to open that up. Um, and I have a passive vent somewhere. Construction kit console passive vents. I only need one. But that's fine. Okay. So yeah, that. And we'll close this. And we'll put our helmet down. We're up to 1.8 degrees, so that's pretty good. I don't know... Obviously, we can do 20 degrees Celsius because it's white on our HUD readout, so I guess that's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll put this here, if I can actually get to it without falling down this little hole thing. Um, and if I can get it to... wait, why is it not... Um, hmm, well, that's curious. It's not actually letting me do anything. So give me this. Can I just put this here? Do I even need another piece of pipe there? I guess I don't. All right, so there's... <laughs> that's all the water and everything else that's been stuck in that pipe system, I guess. <laughs> I totally didn't even realize that I never put a vent on that. I thought I did. 
My bad. Oh, jeez. Running around without my lights on. Okay. Um, and while I'm out here, I might as well... I don't think I'll need my light for up here. So I added a third solar panel, which is generating a, de a good amount of power, and we've got a full battery, like a base battery here. Um, this... I'll probably cut over and show you the wiring too, too, because I had to kind of adjust some of my heavy cabling and stuff and doing all that. Uh, we still have the heavy heavy cabling going out to the battery, or the uh, APC, ACP? AP, I think it's APC, Area Power Control, I think, right? That sounds right. Um, so, so there's that. Um, I also made a furnace. I had to make a furnace to make that big battery. We needed steel. This is not really set up very well, and it might be what I end up doing this episode, is maybe seeing if I can plug in... Uh, my system. There's a couple of different things I want to do, namely a act an actual filtration system. Um, dang, I put the base in a very bad spot, in all honesty. I need to fix this somehow. Um, so now we can make steel, but steel creates gases and stuff, and so it's not properly set up. What I'd like to do is make like a little platform or something out here. Maybe not a full pressurized room. Um, that just stores stuff in tanks and filters and separates and does all that kind of stuff. I'd like to do something like that. Um, and I might end up doing it before we do the furnace setup so that I have a place to store the excess gases and things from the furnace. It's a thought. I don't know. It'll depend on how much steel and stuff I need to, to run. But um, before I do that, I want to do a quick jump over to one of my old saves and I can tear apart some of the room and actually show you guys some of the wiring and some of the piping setup, just in case you might be unfamiliar with it. If you've already seen it, um, not, no big deal. I'm not going to take a real long time with it. But if you've never seen a filtration setup and you're watching my stuff for the first time on the game and are unfamiliar, it, it may help. So let me do that. All right, so just real quick, I went ahead and saved and then loaded up a different one and basically cut holes everywhere so that you guys can see kind of what's going on, just in case you weren't familiar with it or anything. Um, let's go ahead and tackle this one first. Let me see if I can get a quick way out of here. Can I fit through here? I can. Sweet. Okay. Jet pack please thank you good grief all right so uh again this is kind of more for anybody that's never really seen this stuff before if you have it's probably nothing new so what i basically did was i ran um i did actually forget to mention that i ran all these lights uh that was something that kind of came with the new power source so off of this i did a um a t-junction there and ran it up and it plugs into the filtration systems for the power and the data, just in case I ever wanted to hook it up to a computer or logic. And the cable runs along here into this one. Uh, so this active vent, when turned on, is set to... Should be set to... It's very weird how this is set up, because the, everything else in the game... Well, I guess... I guess this is set to inward, like it's pulling in, but it's just... It's a weird set up but basically if it's red it's pulling in and if it's blue it's blowing out that's just the easiest way to remember it because it gets con it got confusing to me as to which one was which and i did try passive vents one of the tutorials i saw online used two passive vents but when i did that they rushed the the air rushed up both vents and i wasn't really sure how that ever gets resolved um it may have been once I turned the filter systems on and then it was pushing through the pipes, it may have pushed it back out. I don't know. If that's true, let me know and I might hook it up that way. I don't know. Uh, because these are noisy and I don't have them running all the time. Um, so let me know what you guys think. But basically at this point with this, you could turn it on and it pulls in. You can turn this on and it pushes out and you don't have to worry about it. Now I know before anybody jumps on this, anybody who actually knows what they're doing in this game, I know it's not back pressure regulated and I know it's not controlled and stuff and yeah I know I, I get that 
Uh, this is kind of just a quick version, but it's not really the most efficient or the most secure. Like, there's chances that if you had too much volume and stuff, it could blow up and stuff. But it works for what I'm trying to do until I get a better one. So basically, when you want it filtered, you just turn this one on, give it a minute, let it kind of suck everything in, and then you can turn this one on and it pushes it back out, and then it starts kind of flowing. Um, so it comes out of these vents and into the input over here to the filtration system and like I said you put your filter in here for what you want it so this one's oxygen and then it puts the output which is the oxygen and then anything else that's not oxygen runs through this frame and up into this one which is set for nitrogen I believe yep and so then this gets that and so it mixes the oxygen with the nitrogen and then that goes back into the output vent and anything that's not oxygen or nitrogen filters into this pipe system. Like I said, I've got the regulator set to 10,000 kPa. Uh, so when it goes in here, if that valve is closed, everything goes down into here and it ends up in your tank. If it starts backing up or this is full, you can just switch this valve on and then it pushes it through here, goes to the passive vent, vents everything out, which I didn't have a passive vent there at the time. Uh, the only other thing would be this battery. And so like I said, I moved the wiring around a bit it doesn't just go down and, and through anymore it had to go into the battery part and it let me actually clean this up to where it wasn't two blocks out it let me kind of move that around a little bit so that was good um so it goes into the battery the battery comes out through this wall and then still goes down around to the acp apc apc right i'm very confused um pretty sure it's acp is it no APC, I don't know why I keep saying it. APC, Area Power Control. Good gravy. I don't know why I keep saying that wrong. So anyways, that's pretty much the extent of my wiring abilities at the moment. Um, so yeah, with that, without further ado, let's go back to the current version of this world where it's uh, actually pressurized. Okay, so I am prepping to get, um, I'm prepping to get ready, that's what I was about to say. I'm prepping to get ready uh, to work on the filtration system a bit more. I did some more mining because I was going to need some more steel and some other things. I actually made um, a bunch of storage tank type things, uh, but now I'm thinking I might actually have the steel to do real um, are they under construction kits? They're, they're the actual, yeah, kit tanks. Um, which are steel and copper. And I have 38, which means I can do one. As you can tell, I have five set up because I think that's the overall amount that you need. Um, because when you look at the filters, you have water, CO2, volatiles, pollutants, and then nitrogen and oxygen. So I actually have... I think I wasn't including one of them. Maybe oxygen, because I was thinking I was pumping oxygen in here. But total, you need six if you're storing everything in tanks. Now, that's not entirely necessary, but you do need some things, like, um... Forget if it's volatiles. I think volatiles um, is H2, I believe, and you need volatiles and oxygen to create propellant for your um, torch and such. Anyways, uh, let's see. Is it daylight out? It's not. Okay, that's both good and bad. So what we're going to do, we're up to 6.3 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good, though this is probably going to completely be undone. I'm not sure yet. Um, well, hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is breathe out of my... What, what I might do is fill up my suit. I haven't done that before. So, one thing I didn't know is you can insert your tank in here. And you can see it fills it back up. Okay. Is there any pressure left in this, then? It says there is. But I just filled up my tank. So I don't know how much pressure is left in this. I'm just going to give it... Nope, there it is. Zero. Okay. I don't know why this hasn't updated yet. Oh, wait, no. Zero is what it's set for, you dummy. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm kind of thinking this is probably empty, to be honest. Like, this is probably not updating. 6438... 
I can't tell if this is empty or not. Wait, I, I, I'm a dummy. Just look at it. So 2.3 kilomoles. I'm not really sure how much that translates into. Of how much it actually has left in it. Uh, but we still have some air in there. So what I'm going to end up doing is breathing off of my jet pack. Or my, my pack, my tank for a little bit. Um, because... I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and I'm going to lock it, because I always seem to hit the I button. Because when I burn, or when I smelt this stuff, it's going to actually put more pollutants into the air. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out these canisters. I wonder why that has a little bit of propellant left in it, or not left in it. Um, wait, put that in there. Oh, that filled it back up, for the most part. Okay, well, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Because uh, what I think I'm going to end up doing is closing this valve just for a, a little bit until I can take that tank off. And we're actually going to turn this on because this is actually going to make some more stuff. So I'm going to turn this vent on. And once it starts pulling in some air, and we're close to zero here, so I'm going to turn this one back on. And so it should be cycling back and forth, essentially. And if we did this right, you can see the numbers changing. It's hard to see because the stupid... I can't lower my... Oh, there we go. Um, so you can see everything's kind of ticking around. The oxygen's being pulled lower, etc. But I didn't want to lose all of this gas at the moment. And once again, I took that out of the can for some reason. I'm not sure why. So I don't think there's too much left in here that's not already filling up the base. Um, now the only thing with this is I won't be able to pressurize... Well, this is done. So we don't really need to do that anymore. Let's just leave this off for now. Or we need to flood this back so it fills up the room. Um, because what I'm actually trying to do is make sure that we don't over pollute the environment, but I'm also trying to save some of this gas that we're pumping in uh, so that I can actually make use of a filtration system. So let's go out and make some steel. I th think it'll be enough. Let's try it. I have it saved not too far back, so if we get stuck in here, I can always get out. But I think, well, it won't matter coming in, I guess. Ah, I didn't think about that. Okay, so I have my mining belt on me, which has all this stuff in it. And I have my backpack full of stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is insert this. And I found a good, like a max ratio of stacks is 48 um, iron to 16 coal, because it's 3 to 1. And... Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so this should give us quite a bit of iron, of steel, actually. Um, what are we looking at? 96 and 32. So I think we should get 96, if my, if my math's right. Um, and then what we're going to do, this part's a little bit tricky, and I'm glad it's nighttime because we actually need it to be, well, nighttime. Um, so that the stuff doesn't melt. So what we're going to do is split one and... I've, I've done this during the daytime, but you have to be really fast. Like, have everything set up in a stack already. Uh, or a stack of one. Okay. So, I think that should work. I don't think that you actually have to turn it up too much higher than that. Hello? Why aren't you activating? It should activate. Hmm. Okay. Unless it doesn't have enough oh is it or is it two it might be two to one let's try that it should be coming up with steel this worked before i don't know what i'm doing different um smelting ice oxide Okay. Oh, there it goes. It's pressurizing. I'm going to blow something up, it would seem. Oh, I put way too much oxide in there. I put the other, I put the wrong stack. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. 
Um, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Alright, I'll probably end up having to reload this because I'm going to blow something up, but I'm just curious what would happen. <laughs> yeah, that was that's what would happen. Oh, stop, 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 stop. And it's still not letting me turn this... Oh, there it goes. It's going to blow up. It's totally going to blow. I've never done this before, so I kind of wanted to see it. Oh, can I... Can I... Can I do this? Yeah, I did not get the temperature and stuff right. <laughs> when furnaces go wrong... Oh, that's bad. It's 99,000 KPA. <laughs> okay, so I did not get that right at all. Alrighty, so full disclosure, I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to finish this at this time or not. I've been doing a lot of off-camera work. It's getting really late, so I may not be able to actually pull this off this episode. Um, our system's not doing too bad, though. Uh, we've got a lot of pollutants and stuff from doing all the smelting. I was smelting up some gold and copper. A lot of copper. A lot of copper. Oh, I did get steel, by the way. I found out it was reversed. It's, um, two oxides to one volatile. So what I ended up doing was I accidentally got the measurements wrong, so I ended up putting, like, two volatiles in, and then I put four oxides in, and then it, it smelted up. So I ended up with a hundred... I, I had 144, I think, because I had 64 and 64 of steel and so i made up six kits i also made four more atmospherics because we have the two for nitrogen and oxygen here this is not going to be a perfect system because i made enough tanks for oxygen and nitrogen to store but i don't have a way to actually set the system to do that yet um so yeah it's not perfect but i'm just kind of making lemonade out of lemons i also made some more frames and sheets to build to put these tanks on i have no idea if it's going to be enough but we're going to find out um, so yeah, in the interest of time, because we're getting kind of low on time for this episode, I am going to find this battery and put it in here. Now, I'm going to, um, do some work on it, see what I can get done, and then I'll come back probably relatively quickly and let you know how it's going, and whether or not I'm going to be able to finish it in this episode. I don't think I'm going to, but it might go faster than I'm expecting it to, so I will see you guys momentarily. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm putting the finishing touches here on what I think will be okay. Um, it's not properly designed in terms of, like I said, all the safety precautions of like back pressure regulating and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is kind of me saying that I really don't think at the moment I've got the volume to really mess with that kind of stuff at the moment, so eventually I'll have to go back and fix this to then have said stuff. But with that right there, everything should be kind of in place, and I'm going to go over it really, really quickly. Um, actually, you know what? Give me this, and give me this. Give me that back. Because I didn't realize how this was going to sit on here. Well, maybe. I don't get that. Why can I not? Why can I only put that on iron frames? That bothers me a bit. Why? That's kind of like an annoying, like, why can't I just stick a vent on top of that thing? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. And it won't actually let me put that on there until this is welded up, which is also stupid. <sighs> Alright, fine. Have it your way, game. See if I care. Uh, for now, we'll just do that. Um, okay. It's still not letting me... Why? It's on an iron frame. Oh, it'll let me, it'll let me place it there, but not there. What the heck? That's dumb. Alright, well... I didn't really want it there. I wanted it further away. Pooh. It's just not letting me do what I wanted to do. Well, I do have some extra, um, I do have some extra pipes, so I guess I can make this work, but it's still kind of annoying that it makes you jump through all these hoops just to put a vent on a wall, but whatever. Um, with that, let's do, I can't see what I'm doing, because of course this won't attach where I want it. It's got to try and attach it some weird way. There we go. Let's do that. Um... 
give me that back. And then we'll reconfigure this one, I guess, to be like this. So that was annoying, but whatever. It's done now. So essentially, um, I don't really need these vents with me anymore either. Actually, what I need is this guy, because we're going to weld this up. Well, I guess I don't really need to, to be honest. It's working. Uh, well, I think it's working. So, uh, well, I do need to do at least one layer on the rest of these, because I have not welded them up. But you guys can still see what they look like, so when I walk through it, if it's not already apparently obvious what's going on, then it will be. Now, I didn't hook these two up, because as I said, they're basically stand-ins for oxygen and nitrogen, but at the moment all of that's being pumped into the room. Um, so they're kind of like, eventually, when I start storing it, I'll have to modify the system a bit. Um, and maybe, maybe what I'll end up doing is just coming off of this pipeline, because this is already nitrogen and oxygen. Um, or, did something happen there? Did it get damaged, or is that just a texture tearing thing? It might be just a texture tearing. I can't tell. I think that's a texture issue. I don't think that's actual damage. But what I could do is break off of this and go this way and plug that into oxygen and then break off of this one and plug it into that and have it redirected back like between those two. Something like that. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Um, but so I have my water one here, CO2 here, uh, volatiles, I think, and then uh, pollutants. I figured pollutants was probably what I would need, like, the least, probably. So, but basically what I did is that where this vent used to be, I ran the pipe this way, and I ran it into each filter, and then into each tank, and then the waste basically just goes into the next filter, and so on and so forth, and so they keep tying into each tank, and then on this last one, the waste goes here. Now, in theory, because I've accounted for all the different kinds of gases, in theory, this will eventually end up being a pressure regulator that if these tanks are full, then it will output. At the moment, it's just set up for waste, um, but there won't really be any waste. So um, I have to basically set up some kind of back pressure regulation type thing to where if the tanks are full, uh, that it would just vent it out. So what I'll probably end up doing is moving these around a little bit later um, and putting some more, or maybe moving these further over, I don't know, and putting some space here. Um, and I might just do a vertical uh, passive vent type of thing where it's like if it gets to this point and it's too, you know, pressurized, then reroute it back up to a vent and just have it spray out or something. I don't know. But at the moment, uh, this should work. And any excess, again, since it's, kind of accounting for every kind of gas, there really shouldn't be an excess. Like, that doesn't actually seem possible to me. Um, so we're going to turn all of these on. And then I'm going to... Actually, this is a good time to test this. Oh, and I also ran the cable. I broke down this wall and made a T-junction on the back, and then I ran the power cable through that way. Um, this actually, though will probably be a good time to test this system because it is nighttime and so we should see if it has too much of a draw on our battery i don't think it will but i don't honestly know um so yeah we're just going to well actually what first thing i'm going to do is turn on the filtration system once we're in here uh because i'm probably going to melt down some oxides and stuff because i actually have um i have a bunch of them from my mining trip um oh that's right what is that sound there's like a thudding sound going on i have absolutely no idea what that is um so I also installed a pressure meter here so that basically if it got built up in the system and it wasn't filling up the tank, I could vent it and see how that works. But I, that's more of a minor thing. Now, as you can see, because we've been smelting and other things, um, the temperature has actually gone up to 11. So 
Seriously, what is that sound? Like, I'm hoping everybody else can hear that and I'm just not going crazy, but it's like that... It sounds like there's something stuck somewhere. I don't, I don't honestly know what's happening. Anyways, so we're just going to dump this out here and see what happens. So this is melting. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll give that just a second. And then we'll turn this one back on. Um, so I'm going to let some of this melt down. And it should kind of fill up our system. Or add to the system. Not necessarily fill it up, but it'll add to the system. And then we can... I'm probably only going to do... Is that one already melted? I don't know where it went. It looks like it might already be melted. Um, so I'm just going to throw... Oh, we might want to use ice. Because that will give us some water. And the one reason I wanted to store water is for hydroponics. Heart, uh, water and CO2 would be a good thing to store for hydroponics. Um, go ahead and turn the air conditioner back on. Try and heat things back up. Because the ice and everything makes it cold. Um, so yeah. I think this is going to work out, and then let me melt maybe one more stack of something just because reasons, and then we'll go from there, and I will see what we come up with. Alrighty, so after running our filter system with all that, um, and I flushed my helmet as well, so that was probably a good idea, uh, so we ended up with a 78-22% O2-N2 blend, which, not bad, and a 60 kPa pressure for our little room here. Also not bad. So what I want to do now is go out and check. Um, I had to, I forgot to open that valve actually. So I turned around at one point and the thing was like redlining and I was like, eh. I'm hoping that's not what this thudding is that I'm hearing is like some pipe that blew or burst or something, but it looked like everything was fine. So I don't see any busted pipes or anything. All the filter systems are on. So that's good. So if we check this, now this in theory should not have anything in it. Actually, none of these pipes should have anything in it because all the filter systems are on. So that's all good. Well, it's saying world. Now oh, there we go, pipe network, pipe network. Okay, so all these are empty. This has pressure in it, which is probably not great. Oh wait, is that, no, that's the network. So the small tank has, hmm the exact same as the pressure. So I guess I need like a volume pump or something to push all of that into the tank. Otherwise it's gonna get stuck in the pipe by the looks of things. But yeah, so we have pollutants in this one. We have H2 in that one, CO2 in this one, H2O in this one. Actually, we have a decent amount of water. Um, not really good with moles. H2 is... I guess K, like kilomoles, I guess that would be more because it would go centimoles, decimoles, millimoles, whatever. So I'm guessing. So I guess we have a lot of H2. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, we do have different temperatures. That's another thing. We have the waters at 1.3 degrees. This is 17 or negative 18 degrees. This is negative 6 degrees, negative almost 19. So that's also something that I'm not too familiar with, but as far as I know, the colder it is, the less dense it is. AKA you could hold more at a colder temperature. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the sun, if the sun's going to eventually like level everything out at 19 degrees Celsius or not. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, but anyways, I think that's the start of our filtration system. Now, like I said, I am fully aware that there's no safety precautions, back pressure regulating, or release valves, or uh, volume pumps to force volume through a pipe that you want to clear, etc. I'm fully aware of that. I'm not quite sure how I want to modify it, but I definitely need to modify it at some point. And the last thing I want to check is our power grid, which this is blue, so our power is doing phenomenal, because... Um, we're running all these filter system, all the lights and everything. Now, granted, I'm being smart about my power usage, but still, uh, we're doing great to have this at blue 
and be fully charged with all the other stuff that we're doing. So our power system is looking beautiful. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments about that, and in particular, also, if you want to see more of this, or if you would rather see more of um, something like Subnautica, or what was the other one? Um, sa Saxels? Staxel? Staxels, I think. Maybe. Whatever that one, new one is that I mentioned before, because I'm sure I got it right the first time. Um... So yeah, let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments. In the meantime, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.